Hey gang, new video series on programming calisthenics for one of four uh, outcomes. Strength, endurance, uh, muscle building, and fat loss. So today we're talking about strength training. Now, the basic principle for the next couple of videos is this word here, the said principle. Said principle, once you understand that, you pretty much know about 90% of everything there is to know about exercise, programming, and how to get things. SAID, Specific Adaptation to Imposed Demand, that's what it means. One of the biggest rules of the said principle is you gain what you challenge. Okay, so if you want strength, challenge your strength. You want endurance, challenge your endurance. You want uh, the ability to run faster, challenge your ability to run faster. Okay, so here's how you can program your workouts a little bit more to challenge your strength side of things. Number one, we're looking for relatively low reps and high resistance. So if you're not familiar with progressive calisthenics, how to make an, a push-up really, really hard, refer to things like convict conditioning. But you can take any basic body weight exercise and adjust it exactly as if you would like weight on a barbell or dumbbell, where you could go from crazy easy to crazy ridiculous hard. I was doing push-up variations today, and I was basically swaying as a sailor to get three reps. Okay. So, you want a high resistance which makes you do low reps. Usually like three to five-ish or so. Uh, don't get too caught up in, in the number exactly. We've got this idea within our fitness culture, like if you do a certain rep range, you're training a certain thing, and if you do a different rep range, you're training for a different thing. That's not entirely true, okay? The thing is, no matter what you do, you're always building strength, muscle, endurance, burning fat, all of these things you're always doing regardless of what your workout looks like. All you're doing is you're sliding the emphasis places. So it's not like if you do five repetitions and you say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 10, that suddenly you're getting a different result and you're not getting the others. That's not the case. It's you're getting all of them all the time. It's which one are you emphasizing? So if your repetitions are lower, you know, three to five-ish or so, you're emphasizing strength, but you're still gonna be building endurance and burning calories and all these other things. Long rest periods are also key, okay? So this is very hard on the nervous system, so resting, usually, you, you gotta play this one out, but 90 seconds, two, two minutes or so. Sometimes in the powerlifting world, you have guys resting five, 10 minutes at a time. Uh, maybe a little excessive, but it depends on your fitness level, depends on how fast you recover. So. Just go a little bit longer than what you usually would do. Ramp up, you know, this is not a warm up, this is what I call a ramp up. So you can't just jump up to a heavy barbell and just start lifting the crap out of it, even if you are very strong. You gotta increase the repetition, the, uh, the resistance to get your nervous system and your mind really used to it. So you do the same thing with calisthenics. So if you're really uh, at like three to five repetitions for like step eight in convict conditioning, start on like step two and then step three, step four, step five. You're not really exhausting yourself on these things though. You do like five to eight repetitions about 70% of fatigue at the very most. It's just giving your body and mind a chance to get used to the exercise. And then you have four sets, usually about two to four sets of working sets, okay? Now again, that play it by ear. Some days you're gonna need more of a ramp up. You're just like, oh, I'm tired, I'm cold, you know, whatever. So let the ramp up be slower, uh, be a more gradual step up, and then two to four sets if you're tired, two, three, but really balls to the wall, everything you got on each rep. And uh, that is your basic idea of training for strength. In the next video, we'll be discussing training for endurance. Questions below, be fit, live free. Hey gang, if you like my video, I appreciate it. If you give that like button down there a click, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. New videos coming out every single day, all about body weight, strength training, conditioning, diet free, uh, weight loss, and healthy eating tips, and anything else you want. If you want something, just drop it down below in the comments section, and I'll respond to it in the next few days. Take care, guys.